We identify uh, gang members, uh, gang locations, uh, gang activities. Sergeant Hensler has been with Fort Wayne Police more than 20 years. Much of his career spent in the gangs and violent crime unit. Gang activity from the time that I started the Fort Wayne Police Department about 23 years ago is constant, consistent. Across the country, it's estimated that 25,000 gangs exist, totaling 750,000 gang members, according to youth.gov. Fort Wayne gangs aren't really like the national gangs that you see, like Bloods, Crips, uh, uh, the Latin Kings, any of those gangs. Ours are more hybrid gangs, so they kind of come and go. Mm -hmm. They're around for a little bit, they show up, they've got certain new flashy names, then they disappear. But even though they aren't like national gangs, the problems they cause are significant. I asked Hensler about their impact on homicides. 60 to 70 percent of them are either narcotics or gang related. Gangs also present a unique set of challenges for law enforcement. The constant changing and evolving of our hybrid local gangs makes it difficult to identify. They don't wear colors. They don't mark their places in graffiti. They are anonymous. They don't dress certain ways. Hensler says he's seen the violence start younger. The one thing that I'll say that we have seen is, is an increase in violence and gun crimes committed by minors, younger children. That has spiked up. So it's important for parents to stay aware. Step up and be involved in these children's life. If they see them going down the wrong path, help them, help steer them, give them mentorship. That's what this city, state, country needs is more mentorship, more leadership from the adults to, to put forth an effort in these children's lives.